Hi again, it's day two of the sugar carbon cell. It seems to be a lot drier today. Uh, I've had it on charge. I started it charging on 2 volts and it slowly went to 2.9 over an hour. Um, I'll just disconnect the charger and we'll see how long it actually runs for uh, after the next day. Okay, we're running, we're drawing 25 milliamps, voltage is dropping pretty quickly. I don't think it's going to last the hour like it did yesterday when it was fresh, that cell. I'll run this for a little bit. I don't know if I'll run the movie for an hour for this because I'm going to put it in the wet cell after this test. Well, it seems to be holding pretty well. Maybe it is okay. So this is the first charge after yesterday. I charged it up a few times yesterday and it seemed to um, only run for a half hour and a half hour charge later in the day I'm suspecting it may be chlorine being activated from the charging maybe so it's turning out to be a chlorine battery perhaps that would explain why the milliamp the um, voltage was going up yesterday Wonder if the um, wonder if we get voltage creep today. Definitely way drier than it was yesterday. Look, it's just turned almost solid. I'm wobbling that. Yesterday we were getting bubbles popping out. So, after an hour of charging, I think we've ran out of water to turn into water and salt to turn into chlorine. Definitely be the chlorine would be the activated ingredient from the salt being electrolysis. See, there we go. We've only got like probably two minutes on an hour charge. Thought that would have been the case. Epsom salts. <laughs> we'll try it in the um, liquid cell. Alright, I'll be back later on. Place the um, sugar carbon cell in the water container of Epsom salts. The voltage is 0.7. Uh, we'll do a short circuit milliamp reading, getting 0.6. Uh, we'll let the volts bounce back or drop. Or we'll go both ways and see the motor will run without a charge. Nothing's going on with the motor. Right, I'll um, apply. Oh, look, milliamps are going up. Voltage is going up. Perhaps it might start turning in a minute. We'll just sit and watch. Oh, look at that. The motor turns on. No charge required. Uh, 
Okay, that's different to that cell for sure. That cell still needed some energy to be put into it before it would produce anything. So maybe the sugar carbon is actually a bit better than the graphite standard. Hard to say. That cell thinks it's got the carbon sheets the negative in this cell, so I don't know, there's something probably not right with that cell. Okay, I'll leave this going. I'll see how long it runs for without doing any charge. Probably, um, yeah, it will run for an hour, most likely. Alright, I'll get back and let you know how long it ran for. Back, it's been 30 minutes and it's just run out. Still got 5.6. Wonder why it ran out. Voltage is bouncing back up. See if it needs a little rest period. Okay, let's hook it up. That drops straight away. Must have been residual charge left over, maybe. Not sure. Um, I'll put a charge on it. We'll do 2.18. Doing 100 milliamps on the 200 range. All right, I'll leave that for a half hour and um, I'll be back. Back, it's been a half hour. The voltage has gone up from 2.2 to 2.6, so around about four volts in a half hour. Milliamps started at 100, I think, and slowly dropping. So now we should, if if the, back, if the cell holds up to what it did yesterday, this thing should run for an hour. Right, we'll just disconnect and see what the voltage drops down to. Okay, we'll hook our little motor up. We're whizzing along. Voltage is also whizzing down. Milliamp drawer is up. Voltage seems to be going down slowly. Well, I'll let that do its thing, and I'll come back when when it's ran out. It's been a half hour. The voltage um, dropped to 0.38, and then it started doing its um, reversing and slowly building up, um, both on milliamps and voltage. If we're lucky enough, we might be able to see it in a minute. The motor's still going, so we've reached a half hour. We've did a half hour charge. So we're at our charge limit. And let's see if we can capture that going up a bit. So a charge does help the little cell. I think last time about the charge it ran for about, oh, I'm not really sure, probably nearly 10 minutes, maybe more, maybe less. 
Well, let's see if we see the increase. We might not see it. Might just stay there now. Might be dropping down again. Milliamps. Oh, the milliamps are still fluctuating. Is it trying to get to one or is it trying to get to zero? I reckon if that milliamps hit one, the voltage will go up. It's got to stay on one. Well, it seems to be holding. Okay, well, um, I'll get back and keep an eye on the cell and see when it runs out. It's um, been an hour. I started the discharge at 11.23. It is now 12.23 just over. Uh, from the last filming the voltage has gone down by 0.02 and the milliamps are starting to drop. So we've hit the hour on a half hour charge. The cell doesn't run that for more than a few seconds or a couple of minutes say without a charge. We had a half hour charge at... can't remember. I think it might have been 2.2 volts for half an hour. Yeah, we're dropping in voltage now as well as milliamps. So we're heading down, but I think there might be another half hour left in this cell. So I'll keep it running and um, I'll get back to you when it finally discharges. It's been sort of up near the 20 milliamps for the hour. Well, I've dropped down in the last filming. But I definitely think this cell likes being submerged. It's a wet cell, maybe. We'll see how it goes. It's still early. It's the second day. Alright, I'll get back when it finally discharges or does a build up. Oh, look. Is it going to do that crazy build up again? Let's sit here and have a look. Eh, nah, maybe not. Just dreaming. Alright, I'll be back when it discharges. Back. It's now... Uh... 12.50... Six, and it's starting to run down. We've got an hour and forty-five minutes. Been running for. I started at eleven twenty-three, and it's now twelve fifty-six, and we're just about depleted. We've been drawing around about twelve milliamps. It was higher, but once the voltage starts dropping down, it's that so around about. So we could say 13 milliamps for an hour and 45 minutes and she's completely dead. We'll see what the um, voltage bounces back to. Give it a shake. Okay. I'll just hook up the motor again, see what's happening. Now we got a little spin, but that's it. Wait again. See if it starts going. We're connecting now. We'll wait, see if it does build up. No, it's not going to do what it did before. So it's um, pretty depleted, I think. 
Well, that's not too bad. One hour and 45 minutes thereabouts on half hour charge at two volts something. Now we're still on a short circuit here. Oh, I load. Draining it. Oh, well, there you go. I'm gonna um, leave that rest for a while and give it a few more charges and see how it goes tomorrow. Alright, thanks for watching.